Hello, everyone. Uh, we're going to get back started to the, uh, the main program. Uh, it's wonderful to have you all here. Hope you're having a, a, a good day two of IDS. Uh, my name is John Kunchner. I'm a managing director and head of the investment banking group at Landmark. Um, I've had the pleasure of being part of uh, Israel Dealmaker Summit. I think this is our eighth year doing it, my sixth. Uh, we started in Israel four years, bringing delegations of dealmakers and investors to Israel, switched that back to New York, and I think it's become bigger and bigger every single year. So we're very, very excited to create this level of dynamic interaction between startups, uh, large companies, corporations, investors, private investors, and, and just people interested in the economy. Um, uh, what we do, just so you're, no, you're aware of it, uh, I lead the investment banking group, so what that means is I do deals, and so we're focused on uh, the growth and innovation economy around a certain vectors in technology, so things like connected devices, uh, data science, uh, enterprise uh, security, enterprise software, and et cetera, and a whole host of other things. Um, and we do very much focus on Israel, and Israel is, is always a unique animal for uh, what we do because it truly is in the innovation economy. We've used different words. We've talked about the startup nation. Now we call it the innovation economy, which I think is a better phrase for it. Uh, but it's very unique in that it's all about starting companies, uh, creating technologies, using Israel as a proving ground for new concepts, uh, building the IP around it, and, and oftentimes then selling that off to large corporations uh, that are external to Israel. Um, so it's an interesting dynamic where there's very few very large Israeli companies, but there's a lot of very large companies that have centers of ex excellence in Israel. I think the number is there's 280 R&D centers in Israel owned by external corporations. Um, so it's, a, it's, it's a both a promise and a challenge in that as you develop these and you sell them, you know, that money is flowing theoretically uh, out of the country uh, going forward. So I think a unique challenge of all the innovators in Israel is to both create innovative companies, to foster them in Israel, to use that as a proving ground to then go international, but also to leverage some of the other aspects of going public on NASDAQ or in LSE now. I think there were 10 listings on LSE, 11 on NASDAQ of Israeli companies and starting to build larger and larger companies. And so um, today we're going to talk about that concept of international deal making of, of uh, taking technology out of Israel and putting it into the hands of larger corporates, but I also think bringing large corporates into Israel to promote uh, economic development and do very interesting things with all of the great technologies that are, uh, that are coming out of it. So um, with that, I'd like to introduce uh, a series of panelists here. Uh, we're going to start with uh, what we're calling the art of the deal. Uh, good friend David Gitlin will, will uh, interview a couple folks and talk a little bit about how to get deals done in an economy um, uh, of this nature, and what are the challenges around uh, all of that? So, David, why don't you come on up and get started?